Hello, my name is Dr. Kaylina Rosari, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Elementary and Secondary Education at the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, commonly known as OSSI. OSSI is a state agency that is responsible for establishing education policy for public schools. Today we're talking about a critical education opportunity, the District of Columbia's ESEA Flexibility Waiver Application. ESEA, commonly known as No Child Left Behind, is a law that was passed by Congress in 2001 that mandated that 100% of the students throughout the nation be proficient in both math and reading by 2014. States were allowed to set their own standards and were required to measure their progress toward this goal through standardized tests. If schools did not make sufficient progress toward this goal every year, then they could face various negative repercussions. We respect the intent of NCLB, yet recognize that change is necessary. Currently, NCLB does not give an accurate picture of how students and schools are performing. It ignores the growth that a school makes in a year. To rectify this problem, President Obama has allowed states to apply for a waiver to redefine accountability and supports to schools. For students, the waiver will help inform their progress toward college and career readiness by creating an accountability system that measures student growth and critical thinking to inspire learning and engagement. For parents, this waiver will help the district provide accurate information about their children's progress. It will also help prospective parents make better school choices by providing accountability that recognizes and rewards success and targets supports to students. For teachers, the waiver means a fair and responsible evaluations that are based on multiple measures, including peer review, principal observations, and classroom work to help them better prepare students for college and career success. It's important to understand that the waiver will not give schools a pass for poor performance. What the waiver will require is that schools show growth in the achievement of their students. OSSI will submit a final waiver application on February 21, 2012. We need your feedback. In January and February, OSSI will make presentations at a series of community meetings to discuss the application and solicit public comment. A copy of the draft application and a list of community meeting presentations are currently located on our website at www.ossi.dc.gov. We encourage everyone to read the application and send their comments to ossi.comments at dc.gov. You may also reach us by phone at 202-741-0475 for more information. On behalf of State Superintendent Hosanna Mahaley, thank you for your time.